Trigonometry in real life. Yes, trigonometry measures the height of buildings. If you know the distance from wall, we can observe the building and angle of elevation. You can easily find the height of a building. Similarly, if you have the value of one side and the angle of depression from the top of a building, you can find an other side in triangle. All you need to know is one side and angle of a triangle. Trigonometry in construction Measuring fields, lots and areas Making walls parallel and perpendicular Installing ceramic tiles Roof inclination The height of the building The wide length etc. And the many other such things where it becomes necessary to use trigonometry. Architects use trigonometry to calculate structural road, roof stops, ground surfaces and many other aspects including sun shading and light angles. Trigonometry in physics in physics, trigonometry is used to find the components of vectors, model the mechanics of waves and oscillations, sum the strength of fields and use dot of cross products. Even in projectile motion, you have a lot of application of trigonometry. Trigonometry in video games. In the game Mario, when you see him so smoothly glide over the rod blocks, he doesn't really jump straight along the y axis. It is a slightly curved path or a parabolic path that he takes to tackle the objects on the way. Trigonometry helps Mario jump over these obstacles. Do archaeologists use trigonometry? Yes, trigonometry is used to divide up the excavation sites properly into equal areas of work. Archaeologists identify different tools used by their civilization using trigonometry can help them in these excavations. They can also use to measure the distance from the underground water system. Trigonometry in Criminology In criminology, trigonometry can help to calculate a projectile's trajectory to estimate what might have caused a collision in a car accident or how did an object fall down from somewhere or in which angle was a bullet shot, etc. And here, you can see Trigonometry is used in physics criminology and our next topic is trigonometry in navigation. Trigonometry is used to set directions such as the north, south, east, west. It tells you what direction to take with compass to get on a straight direction. It is used in navigation in order to pinpoint a location. It is also used in find the distance of a shore from a point in the sea, it is also used to see the horizon. And here goes our next topic, Trigonometry in Marine Engineering. In Marine Engineering, Trigonometry is used to build and navigate marine vessels to be more specific. Trigonometry is used to design the marine yamb, which is a sloping surface to connect lower and higher level areas. It can be slope or even a distance staircase depending on its application. Other use of trigonometry. It is used in oceanography in calculating the heights of tides and oceans. The sine and cosine functions are fundamental to the theory of periodic functions, those that describe the sound and light waves. Calculus is made up of trigonometry and algebra. Trigonometry can be used to roof a house to make the roof inclined and height of the roof in buildings, etc. It is used in naval and aviation industries. It is used in cartography. Trigonometry has its applications in satellite systems.
with respect to their gravity's direction. Can you guess why we need to measure the angle of depression or the angle of elevation? Well, I will give you an example in case you want to measure the height of a very tall object, say the Burj Khalifa. How would you measure the height of that building? In that case, you will measure the angle of elevation of the building. By using that measure and with the concept of trigonometry, you will be able to find out the height of the object without actually measuring the object. So in short, a clinometer helps us to measure the height of tall object with using the concept of trigonometry without actually measuring the height of the objects. A clinometer is also known as a tilt indicator. To perform this activity, we require a protractor, We recall either you can use glue stick, any heavy weight, here I am using a nut, a pair of scissors, a straw, A sheet of white paper, a thread, either you can use a string and a cello tape. So first you take your protector and on the reverse side apply glue. Make sure you apply it well uniformly. Once it's done, paste the protractor on the white paper. Using a pair of scissors, cut out the paper from the edges of the protractor. Once this is done, take the heavy weight and the string and tie the heavy weight with the string. Make sure it's tight enough so that the heavy weight won't fall off. Once this is done, take the free end of the string and place it on the center line of the protractor and secure it on it to the protractor using a cello tape. Once this is done, take the straw and place it here on the 180 degree line of the tractor and secure this to using a cello tape. Once this is done, your clinometer is ready.